Welcome back to my channel. My name is Altra. This is Fit the Mind TV. So just a short recap, this is actually the continuation from our previous lesson, the module one, lesson one, which is all about the different communication model, like Aristotle's communication model, Laswell's communication models, Burla's communication models, and the last one, Shannon Weaver communication model. So this is the continuation, the principles of effective communication, which is the lesson two for our module one. So if you are a student of BS Ed or B Ed or BSIT from different colleges or university, you can check this video up to the end so you can learn from purposive communication. So this is module one, lesson two. So since communication is a two-way process, which we all agree, right? So it is very important for one of us to know the principles to be observed to make it effective in terms of how we communicate. So for oral and written communication, we should be able to apply the following principles. So this is very important. So what are the general principles of effective communication? So we have to consider this. So number one, you have to know your purpose in communicating. We have to make sure that we understand why we communicate. Are we going to inform? Are we going to entertain our audience? Or the reason why we are talking is we are trying to persuade them. We are trying to convince them. So it's up to us. So before you talk in front of an audience, you have to make sure that you understand your purpose. What is your goal? So that's number one. Number two, know your audience. This one is very important. You have to consider your audience age, the educational background, their profession, their culture, and other salient features of your listeners and readers. So before you talk, you have to do research about your audience. Effective ba yung magiging topic ko sa audience na to or hindi? Makaka-relate ba sila sa pinagsasabi ko or hindi nila ako maiintindihan? So by knowing your audience, you will be able to understand how to make a very effective speaking. Can I make a connection to my audience kung ito yung magiging topic ko for today? So knowing your audience is very important sa isang speech or sa isang communication. Number three, know your topic. So ask yourself, are you trying to share something or you want people to learn something from you? So it depends kung ano yung magiging topic mo. But as long as you're good and what you do, then basically, all you have to do is make sure na makaka-relate yung audience mo. Number four, adjust your speech or writing to the context of the situation. The environment in your speech or writing is to be delivered determines the kind of language you will use. So you have to be flexible. If you have to change something sa speech mo, do that. As long na effective yun pagdating sa audience mo. So kailangan, you have other options. Your strategy in doing a speech kung kinakailangan to be an effective speaker and for your audience to be able to understand what you're saying. Number five, work on the feedback given you. So once you receive comments from listeners or readers, work on them. Do not feel bad about the comments, about the feedback. Be positive sa pagtanggap ng feedback because all those feedback makakatulong yun sa'yo on how to do well next time around. So by working, from those feedback coming from your listeners will be able to help you out for you to be a good speaker. And now for the principles of effective oral communication, we have the first one, be clear with your purpose. So you should know by heart your objective in communicating. So ano nga ba yung purpose mo? So you have to make sure that it's clear. 
Number two, be complete with the message you deliver. Make sure that your claims are supported by facts and essential information. So you have to make sure na kumpleto yung pag-deliver mo ng message. Hindi pwedeng gawa-gawa mo lang. It should have a supporting documents facts for your audience na paniwalaan ka. That's why reference is very important. Kailangan may proof ka that what you're saying is true. That you can support it with facts and not just fiction. Number three, be concise. Privity in speech is a must. So you have to be concise. Number four, be natural with your delivery. Punctuate important words with the appropriate gestures and movements. So when you talk, it should be natural. Depends on your style. And your gestures should agree with the message that you're trying to convey to your listeners. And number five, be specific and timely with your feedback. Inputs are most helpful when provided on time. So you have to be specific and make sure that your feedback is there to help you out if needed. So these are the principles of effective oral communication. So next one, principles of effective written communications. Kung yung nauna is oral communication, this one is the principles for written communication or they call it the seven C's. So number one, be clear. That's the first C. Always be guided by your purpose in writing. So you have to make sure that you know your purpose. Number two, be concise. Make sure that you focus on your main point. Wag nang paligoy-ligoy pa. So that's being concise. Number three, be concrete. Support your claims with enough facts. So kailangan tama yung sinasabi mo. At hindi gawa-gawa mo lang. Number four, be correct. Observe grammatical correctness. So this is very important because the audience is a very good critic in terms of giving you feedback. Ba mamaya after you talk, may mga bad feedback na sila sa'yo. So make sure that yung grammar mo is all correct. Number five, be coherent. Convey a logical message. Use logic. And number six, be complete. Includes all necessary and relevant information. Make sure that the information that you're telling to the audience is relevant. It has something to do with your purpose. It has something to do with your main topic. At hindi yung malayo na pala yung naabot ng mga sinasabi mo. Wala nang connection dun sa topic mo. So you have to be complete. It should have a relevant information supporting your main topic, the discussion. And number seven, be courteous. The tone of your writing should be friendly. So when you do writing, it should be friendly. It should be yung hindi mo na offend yung mga readers mo. So you should avoid talking about politics, talking about religion. Make sure na alam mo yung audience mo, yung mga readers mo. So the tone of your writing should be friendly. So these are the principles of effective written communication. So for checking your understanding, you have to answer the following question. Number one, how do principles of effective oral communication differ from those of effective written communication? So what's the difference between these two for oral and written communication? So you have to check the principles of this communication, both oral and written. So number two, why is there a need to apply the following principles in order to attain an effective communication? Bakit nga ba? So we already discussed the answer. All you have to do is check for those information. So that's all for today. So if you want to continue, you can proceed to the next video, lesson three, which is it's all about ethics of communication. And I hope that you learned something from this video. Again, my name is Ultra. This is for the mind TV.